Okay, everyone, welcome to Evolve, um, the 360 Sync Required Upgrade. Um, this upgrade is for the 360 Sync software. As you know, 360 Sync is a software that is used to for um, file management and organization um, in the AEC industry. And it's a simple yet very powerful tool to manage many projects over many data sources. So uh, the update is required um, by November 30th. So all 360 Sync users must upgrade to version 3.4.5 um, by no later than November 30th. If this is not done by December 1st, then you would lose the ability to sync files using 360 Sync. And of course we don't want that. So we'd like for you to go ahead and set up a time today and um, we'll have a little meeting no longer than 30 minutes. And we'll just walk you through the steps of setting up the uh, new version. And um, we'll take some time and also ask you questions and you can provide feedback. So um, yeah, we'll, we would go ahead and set you up for that. Um, meeting. And so these are some important dates. So by um, October 31st, new formal plan grid and issue management are live in the software. November 30th, all 360 sync users must upgrade to 3.4.5. Um, December 30th, 360 sync in the cloud release date. So that's exciting. And then in 2023, we'll have um, files and data transfer, um, dashboards and statuses. So we have a lot of cool features coming up for 360 Sync. Um, so um, currently 360 Sync, we're syncing the platforms that you use from Bluebeam to uh, Procore, Windows, SharePoint, um, PlanGrid and, you know, in the future, we'll be adding more. So again, the feedback that you provide helps us to better serve you with whatever uh, platforms that you're interested in syncing if you don't see those here. And so in uh, version 3.4.5, um, that's gonna be our first step to migrating to the cloud. Um, and by Halloween of this year, which is October 31st, we're gonna go ahead and support connectivity to Nuforma and PlanGrid. Um, and then we will also support a new feature, which is Autodesk Issues that we'll be able to download to Excel. You can go ahead and um, work on those issues and then you can upload back into uh, your project. So by November 30th, there will be a beta version for 360 Sync in the cloud, and it will be available for uh, customers who use Vim 360, Procore, and Windows. Okay, so why upgrade to version 3.4.5? Um, the cloud beta, so it will be early testing and um, you can provide early feedback. So when the full rollout happens, we can you know, hopefully take care of you and have most of the things that you need and continue to work on enhancing the cloud uh, software. Um, you can maintain access to your 360 sync by upgrading because 3.4.4 will no longer uh, work if you're not updated. Um, also, um, in meeting with us to update your software, again, it gives you the chance to provide feedback to us. We want to continue to um, enhance the software for your needs and you know your likes, dislikes. We're interested in knowing all of that. So it's a good time as we set up your software to get feedback from you. And then of course, the new features, which are um, connections to PlanGrid, Nuforma, and exporting to Autodesk, um, the issues to and from Excel. So that's exciting. So um, in introducing connection to the project center um, with 3.5, you will be able to connect to the Nuforma project center um, and sync files with Nuforma, Blue, Bluebeam, Autodesk, Procore and more. And then you will also be able to upload and download files um, to Nuforma. So you can um, upload or download those files on demand or you can go ahead and create a schedule for that.
360 sync in the cloud. Okay, so with the migration to Evolve, which is our new licensing system, soon we'll be having a cloud product, which is, which is very exciting. So you'll be able to manage your connections and your projects via web portal. Um, this will allow copy files and data in real time because we'll leverage APIs and AWS functionality. We'll also offer 360 Sync in the cloud um, beta version for customers who use BIM 360 and Procore. And in November and later for customers who use B, um, BIM 360, Procore and Windows so that you can uh, sync files in December. Also introducing 360 Sync with Plan Grid, um, so you can connect to Plan Grid, um, your projects, and then anything else you know that we connect to and more. And then you'll be able to upload, download, and migrate. So uploading or downloading your files to or, fr or from Plan Grid. Um, and any old projects from Plan Grid to any of our other supported data resources. Um, with our migration to Evolve, uh, let's see, you'll be able to manage your connections and projects via web portal. I think I went through that one. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and have a demo of the 360 Sync software and Michael's gonna go ahead and help us with that. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to put those in the chat for you and we'll get those answered for you. Thanks, Tanji. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and share my screen. So I'm gonna do three quick demos here, okay? I'm gonna do one for New Forma, one for Plan Grid, and one for our issue management functionality that we're adding, okay? Then I will go over uh, a little bit about the, um, the um, the the new uh, evolve uh, the cloud service that that we're that we're building, but the first thing that I really want to talk about, I want to make sure that everybody understands. Okay, um, uh, I need we need all of our customers by November thirtieth to upgrade to our latest version. Okay, that latest version is three point four point five right now. Here by the end of October, it should be version three point five. Okay, and uh. 3.5 should have everything that I'm going to show off today inside of it, but 3.4.5 is going to allow you to continue to have access with 360 Sync um, past uh, um, November 30th, okay? So it's absolutely mandatory for every single one of our customers to upgrade to that. Otherwise, you will not be able to use 360 Sync until you do up, up, uh, upgrade, okay? so. Uh, again, uh, as Tanji said, please, um, please, please, uh, like shoot us an email um, or, or or call us and set up a time where we can go through the setup with you and 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 solve and and just get that knocked out. Okay. But the first thing that I'm going to show off is New Forma. Okay. And so. Uh, this has always kind of been a, a big desire for me because when I worked for Walsh Construction, um, New Forma was what my, our architect used. So we always had to sync files between what Walsh used, um, which was uh, share, our SharePoint and, um, and our own server. And then we had to connect that to, our, to, our, uh, to New Forma because that's what our architect used. And then we also used BIM 360 for the field. So we had to do the same bit of work four times. And so uh, managing, being able to send stuff to New Forma automatically would have saved me, you know, probably an hour every day. Um, connecting to SharePoint, my server and BIM 360, that probably saved me an hour a day as well, like a half an hour to an hour as well. But I was always dealing with New Forma. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, this really kind of makes it so that, you know, either people that work with customers that you, or, you know, with, with, with architects or engineers that use New Forma, they can connect to it. But it also allows architects and engineers to sync their data or, you know, or the, the general contractor or the, or the subcontractor's data uh, to them so that, so that they have, you know, control of that data as well. Okay. And so the way that it works you set up uh, a data source. You can see we've got all of our data sources in here, but you would pick new forma. You name it something intelligent. 
you uh, log in to, um, or you put your, uh, your email in for new forma. Then you choose your client ID or you find your client and ID and client secret. So that's pretty easy to find uh, inside of the project center. Basically, you just click the little drop down for your uh, your prop your um, your uh, user profile, and then then uh, it'll it'll generate one for you. But you find that you hit connect, and then you're good to go. Okay, and so once you do that, um, basically you can come on in here and you can create a project. So you can see I've actually already gone and done that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking new forma data from new forma to our servers. And so basically what I did was I picked new forma as my data source. It's gonna search for my projects in here. Oh. And uh, basically once I do that, once, I, once it finds my projects, then it's going to, uh, you know, I can select them. Um, I, and then I can choose a folder that I want to sync. So if I wanted to, I could just sync uh, one folder. So in this example, uh, while it's going slow, um, in this example, uh, we were connecting to um, just the R5s folder. But you could choose to sync the entire project, okay? Or you could choose just to sync one folder. But you do that, and then you choose where you want it to go over here on the right. So again. Um, uh, I guess for some reason something's going haywire there with new forma. But basically, you choose where you want the files to go. You hit save, and then 360 sync's gonna going. You hit play. 360 sync's gonna run automatically. Okay. So <clears throat> once you do that, basically 360 sync's gonna start running. It's gonna start copying the files from one place to another. And so now you've got your new forma information that's coming from your architect, or maybe it's just your company. You've got that backed up on your server. Okay. Similarly, with Plan Grid, um, uh, pretty easy to do. You set up, you, you create a connection. Uh, you choose Plan Grid as your data source. You name it something intelligent, and same thing. It's even easier to set up than New Forma. All you really have to do is put your email in. But once you do that, you hit connect. The first time that you uh, you, you log into Plan Grid, just like if you, if you have a BIM 360 connection, it's going to ask you to log in, and then it's going to ask for you to confirm that you want files to, to, to move automatically using 360 Sync. And if you hit allow, then 360 Sync is going to work. Okay. And so we'll come over here. We'll create a project. We'll call this Plan Grid Test. And so um, I'll just choose to sync files. And so now if I want to take files from Plan Grid to Windows, I choose Plan Grid as my source, Windows as my destination. We'll just call this Plan Grid to Windows. I could have also chosen to go take files from Windows to Plan Grid. We can take file data either way. But now you can see here's all my Plan Grid projects. I could pick, I'll just pick one. And so now I'll choose uh, the folder that I want to connect to. I guess I don't connect to that project, um, Student Center. Okay, so now if I wanted to, I could choose to sync uh, just my proof submittals, or I could choose my RFI document. So I'm just going to choose my submittals for right now. Um, so I've chosen what I want to copy from Plan Grid, and now I'm going to choose where I want it to go in Windows. So we'll go to Windows. And then um, if I wanted to, I could drop this into my OneDrive, and that's what I'll do. We'll just call this from Plan Grid. Okay. So I do that, and I hit Save. Okay. And so now I've set it up. So I'm going to be taking files from Plan Grid to Windows. So again, what I did before, I could hit Play, and I could have this run right now. With, like I did with New Forma, or I could hit schedule. And so what I want to do is I want this to, to, to run on a schedule. And so we'll come back to this in a minute. So let's say that I wanted this to run at 2.20 every day. So I just put 2.20 in my start time. If I wanted to, I could have it repeat multiple times during the day. So in this example, it would repeat every two hours. But I just want it to run once a day, so I'm not going to check that box. But I do want this to run regardless of whether I'm logged into my computer or not, so I'm going to check this box. And then I'm going to put my username and my password in, or actually just my username. Uh, 
And um, then I'm going to um, hit, uh, let's see. Uh, actually, it's uh, different. There we go. So I do that. I hit save. And then now 360 Sync's going to run um, every day, Monday through Friday at 2.20 p.m. Regardless of whether I'm logged into the computer or not, it's going to log in as me, and then it's going to run a scheduled task, and it's going to sync my plan grid files from plan grid to Windows. Okay? So we'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. So I'll just drag this, this over here. But the, the the last the kind of the coolest thing that I guess that we've that we've come out with is uh, an issue management functionality, and so I'll kind of show you how that works. Okay, so um, with uh, issue management, um, basically, uh, what we can do is we can we can download the issue data from Autodesk, whether you're using BIM three hundred and sixty or you are using the Autodesk Construction Cloud or Autodesk Docs, whatever you're using, we can connect to it. We can download the issue data. We it comes to us, and then we we uh, we format it in in an Excel format. Then you then that allows you to open that Excel file. You can edit that file, upload it back up to Autodesk, and then the the uh, the issues will will um, be up where it will be. Uh, modified. So what this really allows you to do is batch edit your issues um, very quickly, you know, to, to modify a whole bunch of them if, if just the status changed or whatever. Um, it allows you to do that. Okay. So that's what we're going to set up here. So I've already got my Autodesk connection set up. It works the exact same as Plan Grid, so I'm not going to go over that. But if I want to create a new uh, project, <clears throat> I'll just choose that. And so we'll call this um, issue management um, Excel demo. Okay. So again, you typically name this after the project that you were setting up, but I'm just going to name it after who I'm doing or what I'm, you know, for the, since I'm doing this uh, demo today, I'm just, I'm just naming it after that. And so as you can see before, we chose file sync for both of our options, but we can also publish models from BIM 360 design. But this time we're going to, we're going to do issue management. So I'm going to hit save. And so now I'm going to hit, I'm going to add a mapping and we'll call this uh, issues download. And so I'm just going to do issues download today because um, the, the upload is the exact same process. It's just the opposite. Okay. So we're just going to download issues from a project. And so now if I want to take the, the, the issues from a project, I choose Autodesk as my source. And so here it's going to ask me, I guess I will show you how, how to log in. Okay, so then I'll hit allow there. <clears throat> and then now it's going to log in and it's going to uh, allow me to pick my, my hub. So here's all of the hubs that I'm a part of. So I'm obviously, uh, since I do this all the time, um, customers add me to their sites all the times. But I'm just going to pick the applied software one here. And then I'm going to choose my uh, MEP Force project. Okay. And now I want to save this on, in Windows. And so if I want to do that, I'm going to come here. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my desktop. And we're going to just call this, um, we're going to call, going to call this uh, webinar issues. Okay, I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then we're going to come back to it here. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see. Where are you on my desktop? Okay, well, I'll find it here in a second. But, um, oh, that's right. We haven't saved it yet. Uh, silly me. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to filter the issues that I wanted to download. Maybe I just wanted to download issues that were not closed. You know, so, so I just wanted to do open, in review, and pending. Okay. Or maybe... I wanted to do it also by, um, but open issues and by who they were assigned to. So maybe if, if they were just assigned to anybody that, or any email that had my name on it. I could also do that by role or by company if I wanted to, okay? But I just wanna do it uh, 
ones that are assigned to, to my emails, okay? So if I wanted to just download those, then I could filter just those issues and I could modify them, okay? So now I'll just hit save because that's all that I want to download, okay? And so now if I hit play, <laughs> 360 Sync's going to uh, download my Excel file and um, we'll open it up here, so here in a second. Um, there we go. There they are. We've got our webinar issues right here that just popped up. So if I open that, <clears throat> then it's going to uh, I open. It's going to give me an Excel file. And so the Excel file here. Um, basically, we've got a legend on the first page, and then you can see here's all of the different drop-down options that pop up. That so it downloads all that information. But now you can see all of the uh, issue data um, right here for all of the uh, the uh, um, issues that are assigned to me in this project. And as you can see, there is a boatload <coughs> that are assigned to me. Okay. And so I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to modify some of these. So um, let's see who are some of the, um, we'll, I'll, I'll just add some of the, the people that are, that are watching. So I won't use their full name, but Brian, then Raquel, Marina, Tanji, and then me. Okay, so I saved that data. <clears throat> and so now, if I choose to upload this data, now 360 Sync is going to, I, it would uh, upload all of those issues with the changes that I made, and uh, it would upload it to, to the, the BIM 360 project, okay? Um, we've tested this out. You can also kind of migrate issues from one project to another if you wish. Um, so, so that that's another feature for it. But basically, the idea is you download those issues, you modify them in Excel. It allows you to modify everything quickly because you can sort and filter things, and you can uh, batch edit the the statuses or or the descriptions or 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 comments or whatever. You can you can copy and paste all that stuff really quickly in Excel. You you edit that stuff, you save it, you upload it, and then boom, you're good to go. Okay. So, so basically, that's uh, the process there. So we've got that done. So now let's take a look at our plan grid, okay? And so let's see, is it 220? So let's see, I'll just, I guess it, it, has, it did not run. We'll just have it run. We'll, we'll watch it go in real time. Okay, so it's going to start pushing files. And so as you as you watch it go, you'll see all the files pull, pull, pull over um, quickly and painlessly. So we'll come over here. Let's see, let's find that folder on our OneDrive. Um, let's see, where was it? It was from PlanGrid, right? So now all those files and folders are starting to pop in right there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's see, uh, last thing that I wanted to show you, okay? is with um, is with uh, evolve okay so part of what is going to go on during our uh, upgrade process to 3.4.5 is we're going to add you uh, to the evolve foresight um, uh, management website okay um, and so when you do that, um, basically what's going to happen is it's going to get, bring you to this portal where you can see all of the members that are associated with your uh, Evolve or your 360 Sync um, licenses, okay? And so by default, that will probably just be you. Maybe that'll be one or two other people depending on who all uses 360 Sync. But basically, you, you come in here, you log into Evolve, the first time that it does it, it asks you to, to give it up, to, to choose a password. You, you choose that password, then you log in, and it's going to bring you to this page, okay? And so you can see right now, I have a whole bunch of uh, different modules, but in the future, 360 Sync will also be on here, okay? But what you guys will only mostly be focusing on is admin so that you can add members, um, and then the 360 Sync app, because that's going to allow you to 
sync files uh, while you know using this cloud portal. Okay, but anyway, when we log you in or when when we set you up, I should say, uh, you click admin. By default, that'll be the only thing that you're connected to right now. But you choose admin, and then um, you can view um, the projects that you've created, which should be none. You'll you'll uh, review the company information. You can review the company members. You can invite members. Um, but the main thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here to the licenses tab. Okay. And so from there, what you're going to want to do is just find 360 sync, copy that license key, and then you're good to go. Okay. So you do that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, I know that we have a poll question. So before we get into questions, let's uh, bust out that poll question. And do I need to stop sharing to, in order for the, the poll to, no, even better. Okay, so the poll question is, what are you most excited to use with 360 Sync in the future? Is it cloud functionality? Is it new forma? Is it plan grid? Or is it downloading and batch editing issues from Autodesk? Okay, so I can tell you, uh, like, uh, I'll try to sell all, all four of them, I guess. So the cloud tool, what's going to be great about that? real-time sync okay so that means no more having to schedule no more having to deal with uh, having 360 sync on a computer that you have to remote into or anything like that um, so that'll really speed up the process for new forma uh, that's good this is going to really help you um, uh, you know collaborate with your uh, your architects your engineers your designers on the project or if you are one, it's going to help you um, collaborate with the rest of your team much easier. Okay, with Plan Grid, same thing. Most of our, a lot of our subcontractors love and use Plan Grid. So this this uh, this would be a great way for you guys to collaborate <coughs> with your other uh, users. Okay, then finally, downloading and batch editing issues. Why would you like that? That would probably be because you know. It, you guys are using punch list and it's a slow and painful process of managing all of the uh, the issues um, one by one. Um, so uh, so I guess we'll we'll give it a couple more seconds and then we'll end the poll and then we'll we'll jump to questions. I guess have there been any questions? Okay, cool. Okay, so it looks like uh, the majority of people answered. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll in the poll. The majority of people answered um, with with the uh, the cloud tool was was the thing that they were looking most most forward to. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. Um, good good for us to know. Um, like I said, that the the cloud tool will be available in beta form uh, in late October, early November for Procore and and BIM three hundred and sixty or Autodesk users. And then it will be end of November, early December for, for Procore, Autodesk, and Windows users, okay? Um, we are working on getting an apples-to-apples -apples comparison for our tool in the cloud. So very shortly, if, if you don't connect to just those three things, we're going to start fleshing out every, you know, all the other connections as well, uh, starting with SharePoint after. That would be our fourth connection, okay? So um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, all right. Uh, so I guess any questions? All right. Well, um, again, to close out, uh, if you take anything from this meeting, Maybe I talked too fast. I don't know. Maybe I went over stuff too fast. But the thing that I really want everybody to understand is that uh, uh, on, on November 30th, uh, if you don't upgrade to version 3.4.5 or, or more or later, so uh, either 3.45 or 3.46 or any other version that's after 3.4.5, if you do not update uh, 360 sync um, by then, then 360 sync is not going to work for you. And you're gonna be pretty upset with me because um, it doesn't work. But 
don't worry if, if that does, you know, if, if you miss the deadline or if you want to do it right now, we can help you do it. Okay. It'll take 30 minutes or less and, um, you know, and, and, and we can get you set up. And so that you will not lose, you know, there will not be any service uh, lost. Okay. It'll just work as intended. We'll just get that out of the way and then you're, you're good to go. So please uh, contact us um, so that we can set up a meeting and walk you through setup. Okay. So I appreciate everybody's time today. Um, have a good, uh, rest of the week. Have a good, have a good weekend. Okay. Thanks guys. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Michael. And to everyone watching, we'll send around the recording to all the attendees and registrants and, uh, make sure to join us on November 1st for the next edition of the 360 SYNC, uh, updates and Q and A. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.